So what I'm going to go through is how to name binary acids. First, you have to recognize a binary acid either by name or by um, uh, formula. They have the hydrogen ion and a monatomic anion. The monatomic anions could be um, nitride, phosphide, arsenide, sulfide, selenide, even oxide, fluoride, chloride, bromine, and iodide. And they will bond with the hydrogen ion as a one plus. And then the predicted charges are based off of the group. Um, the other way you know you have a binary acid is that in the name it'll start with the prefix hydro, and then in this position will be um, one of these nonmetal names. So bromide will turn into what's called bromic, chloride will turn into chloric, fluoride will turn into fluoric, and etc. And then after that word, they'll have the uh, word acid. So what we're going to do is just do a couple practice problems. So if you have HCl, it's made of the hydrogen ion and the chloride ion. And you're going to take the chloride ion, and you're going to take its name, and you're going to turn it into ick, and then add the word acid. So for example, you have the hydrogen ion, the chloride ion. You'll take that ide ending into ick, and then you'll add the word hydro as a prefix, and then keep the word chlor, change the ide to ick, and then acid. So the answer for the first one here, again, is hydro, chlor, ick, and then acid. So if you had hydrobromic acid, um, what's going to happen is instead of having the chloride ion, you'll have the bromide ion, which is the same charge, it's one minus, but it is the symbol Br. So if we had hydrobromic, that means we have the bromide ion, and we're going to change the IDE to ick, and then we have to worry about the fact that we're adding a hydrogen ion, which is a one plus. So then the net charge needs to be zero, and in this case a one plus and a one minus um, equals zero. So over here you would have just HBr. Uh, the next one you have hydrogen ions and the sulfide ions, but in this case you have two hydrogen ions, that's what the subscript two means, and you have a sulfur as a sulfide ion. And sulfur, based off of its family position, um, or an ion sheet, you predict that it's a two minus. And that means it's called sulfide. So again, we're gonna change the IDE to ick, and then add the prefix hydro. So this one's gonna be hydro, and then you're gonna keep sulfur. Now this is one of those unique ones where sometimes you could put sulfic acid or you may see that they'll put the UR back in the name, so sulfuric and then acid. The next one is um, hydroselenic acid. So again, we're gonna have the hydrogen ions, and then we're gonna have the element selenium as an ion, and again, predicted at its placement is a two minus on the periodic table. Or you might have an ion sheet that lists that it's a two minus. So that again means that I'm gonna need two hydrogen ions to balance that charge, because again, this, this total charge has to add up to this total charge and equal zero. So hydroselenic acid is going to be um, H2, again, denoting that there's two hydrogen ions to match the charge of the selenium ion, which is a two minus.